Now, before we get started, you'll all be very pleased to hear that Stanley and I have made friends again. If you saw a recent video, you'll know that Stanley actually injured me quite badly. It did involve a trip to um, the uh, local nurse at the doctor's surgery, and you probably noticed my finger last time round was quite bandaged up. It's healed really nicely. Um, I will be treating Stanley the same way as usual, so Grant is already wearing the protective gear. Uh, I'm just nice. <laughs> actually, I don't play well. It's all part of the fun in the Elite Audio Unboxing. So. Here we are again in the Elite Audio Showroom and you're about to experience and witness an epic unboxing of the newest model from Triangle. Uh, it is the Berea range, and there's a, I'm not got to say there's a real buzz uh, around the industry and particularly in the hi-fi press about uh, this range of speakers. In fact, um, one of the most recent reviews was in What Hi-Fi, which I've actually got an excerpt here. It got five stars. I'll just very quickly read what they say before we get onto the unboxing. I know that's what you're here to see. Anyway, the review was in the, the Berea BRO3s, um, which are the bookshelves, and What Hi-Fi said, it's not often we stumble across a pair of speakers at this price that sound as sophisticated as the Triangle Brea BR-03s. For the money, they're savvy musical performers with a great sense of scale and an even greater appetite for presenting music in a transparent and mature manner. But are these speakers capable of worrying the current class leaders? Most definitely, and that's straight from what I find. Um, there's equally a Stereonet uh, five-star award, again on the Berea BR03s. So there's two examples of the Hi-Fi press and initial opinions. But we have here the BR09s, which are the flagship floor standard speaker from Triangle in this new range. Now, before we get started, you'll all be very pleased to hear that Stanley and I have made friends again. If you saw a recent video, you'll know that Stanley actually injured me quite badly. It did involve a trip to um, the uh, local nurse at the doctor's surgery, and you probably noticed my finger last time round was quite bandaged up. It's healed really nicely. Um, I will be treating Stanley the same way as usual, so Grant is already wearing the protective gear. Uh, I'm just nice. <laughs> He's actually walking away now. I don't blame him. Um, there's been quite a few near misses. But anyway, it's all part of the fun in the Elite Audio Unboxing. So, without any further ado, I am going to uh, start slicing my way into these triangles. Um, you would be noticed I've been a little bit more careful than normal. It's funny how memory of injury makes you a little bit more careful of certain things. Um, these are a three-way loudspeaker. And as I said at the start, they are the flagship in the new Berea range. Um, I'll just pop these, they're, they're taped and stapled at the top. I've got to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of staples at the top of boxes. I find them just another way to injure yourself. And I've seen these, I remember ATC years ago, they had dozens of these on their speaker boxes. So when you are unboxing, my advice is just get them out of the box. They are lethally sharp. Not as sharp as good old Stanley 99E. Uh, I'm sure you'll understand why. And if we just get Grant to come and look at the top here, you can actually see they show you how to unbox them. In fact, the way they're showing you is how we unbox most loudspeakers. I'll turn around this way so Grant can see. So, open the top of the box, get the box on its side with one flap folded under, pull the whole box off, and voila, the ice melts, as they used to say in the great adverts from the 80s. Um, in the top here you can see the Berea manual. Um, we've also got, it looks like, the spike set, which looks like it's got the rubber parts there for uh, hard floor, and these look like the sharper ones, indeed, M8 spikes for normal flooring. So to follow the triangle instructions correctly, I'm just going to tip this box on the side um, and lower the sound. Now, this is another reason why you should remove the staple because my hand is already covering areas where the staple would have been and trust me, I've cut myself numerous times on box staples, particularly from loudspeakers. Um, this is the point where I'm now going to elevate the box upwards. Now, this is quite a large speaker. It weighs about 22 kilos out of the box. Um, and what I would recommend, which I've had this happen, if I can, 
is to keep a finger here because I with this it's going to want to drop out and I can feel it trying to slide out already. The reason I say that is that if you don't there's a good chance the bottom cap will fall off you will then have an exposed loudspeaker you drop it up and bang next thing you know you've damaged your lovely speaker now. This is coming off very easily I have to say in fact, I can feel the caps come off the top here. I feel like they come loose in the box. I've that. In fact, there it is in here. I'm just going to. Oh. Instead of falling all the way down the bottom, which it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to leave that in there because that's where it needs to stay. But gradually, it just, just keeps dropping down. Um, you can see there's a, a, a polystyrene collar around the speaker, too. Uh, there's sort of two functions. That one it means that the box can't flex in and damage the side of the speaker. Uh, equally, it also allows them to position the front grille and a little holding point at the front there too. If I just turn it around so you can see, the grille just pops down there. And obviously then the top cap would have sat here. The reason we're operating it this way is you can now see we have got access to the underside of the speaker. I'm going to grab Stanley for a second and I'm going to use his cutting abilities to gently just cut this little bit off. So I'll tape. Now, to give you a little bit more technical information on these, they're a three way design. It's a base reflex design as well, which allows the speaker to go all the way down to 35 Hz. Now, 35 Hz, if you look at some subwoofer specifications, some subwoofers only go down to 35 hertz. So in theory, these are going to give you full range. Um, which, given the price point, I think it's pretty impressive actually. Uh, the retail price is just under £1,200 at £1,199. So £1 under £1,200. Honestly, I'm not a fan of like £1 under a £1,200 speakers, let's be honest. Um, these are, however, in my opinion, um, some of the best value for money loudspeakers currently available on the UK market. These are in the walnut finish, as you can see. Obviously, this is the bottom part. If I get the accessory box, which I lifted off. Oh no, it's in the lid. It's there. Of course it is. If you've been paying attention, you're going, it's in the lid! You're shouting at me from back from the other side of that screen saying, Mark, it's in the lid. Yeah, of course it is. So, um, it's going to be kind of a two uh, stage process, so I'm going to just tip this back again this way and again making sure I don't drop it. We've got a concrete foam here with a mat on top and I'm just going to simply lift this up once more. Take the cap off, that gives me access to the spikes and then I'm just going to drop this back down again here. Making sure that I keep it in the plastic and then carefully I just took this back on its head. There. You notice that I left the protective plastic on, that's for good reason. Even on a carpet, if you tip your speaker on its head like this to put the spikes in, if there's any, even a tiny amount of grit in your carpet, as you inadvertently move the speaker, whether it's to tighten this, the spikes or not, you will scratch the top of your brand new loudspeaker. Um, I have seen this happen on numerous occasions, people sent photographs, and it just take, literally, if you, are, if you have this in contact at all with your floor, just get the plastic on, it's not that difficult to do, and it will protect the speaker from being damaged. Um, so, you can see the rear terminal design there, staying quite clear of the BR-09s. Uh, uh, they've got a NATO impedance, uh, the lowest it dropped is about 3.3, so it's a pretty, you know, stable impedance curve. It's not going to present your amplifier with any kind of awkward uh, dips in impedance that's going to suddenly try and extract tons of current from your amplifier, even at high volumes. Um, I think you know, sort of average impedance is probably around about six ohms overall, with a nominal of eight. So again, very easy uh, to uh, use. Now I'm just going to get the spike set. Catch up to this at home. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there we are. Usually just with keys at home. Um, there'll be someone who knows that nodding their head watching this video right now saying it's not just keys that you do it with. Um, so I'm just going to take 
this. Now, um, I just need to retrieve the base which is in here. So there's two sets to, or there's two arms to putting these stickers together. I'm just going to have to take this back up um, on its head again because I do need to extract the cap out of here. And the, you feel there's still quite a bit of weight in here because there's a base that gets bolted to the bottom of this speaker. So I'm going to allow gravity to work. I feel like some kind of magician. Oh, that's sounding like there's something there, can't you? Right, so there is in that other old cap. <laughs> just locking every moment here. Here we have the base. So I'm just going to quickly cut this loose here. Interestingly, if you have read the reviews on any of the Bereas, the one thing that really stands out for me, and having listened to every model in the range, apart from the BR09, we've not heard these yet, in fact, this is the first pair in the UK. Um, interestingly, Triangle have completely underestimated the demand for these, and they are all currently on back order, and for good reason. Um, quite simply, at this price point, there is nothing that you can buy that's as good. Equally, it's the most efficient speaker in its class at nearly 93 dB. Now what that means, a lot of people ask, what does that actually mean in real terms? It means that it will give your amplifier additional dynamic headroom. The measurement 96 dB is simply an audible measurement in decibels measured at one meter away from the speaker when a power of one watt is driven through the speaker itself. And in essence, that's where your efficiency comes from. So it's quite easy to understand um, how that calculation uh, is done and how the end figure is uh, achieved. So anything above, in my opinion, 89 dB, you would class that as an efficient speaker. Anything under that, I use the term inefficient, but it just means that you will need to drag your amp a little bit harder to get the same uh, volume level or sound pressure level. Um, so I'm just going to bolt these, uh, put the bolts uh, on the bottom of the speakers. Uh, as always, I would just always recommend just putting them in by hand to start with. Just catch the thread, make sure you're not going to cross thread. Quite easy to do if you're a little bit over enthusiastic with attaching these. And um, Grant can obviously see what we're doing there. Here we go, that's that one in. And then finally, the last one here. Um, I do really like the styling of these, I have to say. I think that Triangle have nailed it in terms of aesthetics. I think it's one of the prettiest speakers in its class. Again, you'll see this in a second. I'm not going to put the spikes on. I'm just going to attach the base. Uh, we'll obviously attach the spikes ourselves before we set them up. Um, what we are going to offer on all Berea speakers is a 30 day money back guarantee. Part of the reason is that we, as part of our business philosophy, is that we don't want anybody buying anything that's not right for them. Um, it really comes from the core of the way that we do business. Um, equally, and most specifically with loudspeakers, you absolutely have to get them in your home because every listening room is unique, every listening setup is unique to the individual. So therefore, you have to, no matter what happens, get these in your home and listen to them for at least two weeks. Because that's the length of time it takes really to become accustomed to how the speaker is going to react to your setup. And also, there is a burn-in required. Um, oh. Right, we're just about ready to unveil this beautiful white speaker. And I have to say that really is a thing of beauty. The speaker itself is about 1.1 meters high. So it's, you know, it's not a, a small floor standard. It's, it's, it's quite large. I'm just over six feet tall, so that'll give you an idea of scale. Um, but I've got to say the styling of it is beautiful. The stand is beautiful. It's just, it's a really nice looking uh, loudspeaker. And it's going to fit in any domestic environment. Um, as I say, the sound's the most important thing. The reviews on the other models have been absolutely phenomenal. So there's no reason to think that this is going to be anything different. 
So they say, we'll give you a 30 day money back guarantee. It means you can get it at home, try it. There's no risk there for you. If you're unsure about its suitability for your room, then, you know, please give us a call. Let's chat about your system and your room setup. It, importantly, you see that the porting is to the front of the speaker. So that does give you a lot more flexibility in terms of room placement. Like most people, and my room at home is exactly the same, my speakers are really close to a back wall. You know, the domestic arrangements mean that I have no alternative. So, you know, most people have that. And again, Triangle have obviously considered this aspect of setup and, and put the, the base port into the front. So there you have it, the Triangle BR09s, the flagship of the Berea range, definitely money back guarantee, will also guarantee to be any like for like uh, par exchange uh, quote. So again, we'll take your existing speakers and give you a quote upgrade to these amazing triangles. And um, also, uh, you can have interest free finance over 12 months, which will help spread the cost of these if that's what you wish to do. Uh, but most importantly, great looking speaker, an absolutely stellar new product from Triangle. They've been in business for many, many years, and there's a company with a real history and a heritage behind them. And they're in, in such inherently musical. If you read the reviews, it basically backs that up. So thanks for watching this unboxing, and uh, we'll have more to come very soon.